Good morning. I'm going to walk you through how to send your first ever MailChimp email to your list today. So if you've never sent an email before or you kind of just didn't really know what the heck you were doing um, and you need a leg up, this is the video for you. So I'm going to share my screen. And remember to pause me, all right? If it all starts getting a bit crazy, pause and rewind. Don't freak out. This is totally doable. Okay, so when you first log in, uh, you'll come to this thing called the dashboard and then you'll see these tabs across the top. We're going to use campaigns. Campaigns means send an email. But let's use the button over here, create campaign. And even better, use this little drop down. Drop down, regular campaign. Here we go, here we go. Then you choose which list. I'm just going to use my main list. Hopefully you've got a couple of lists. Otherwise, we'll make another video about lists. Let me know in the comments if you need that. So you just use this next button. Now, campaign name. This is something that you only will see. So it doesn't matter too much. The people that are receiving the email won't see this, but I do like to make it significant in terms of the date. Week ending is my favorite way to organize my emails. So I'm gonna schedule this one up for next week, week ending the 30th. Subject. Email subject is quite an important field because that can make or break whether someone will open it. So make it enticing, make it interesting and make it honest. So it really is what's inside the email. So you're not being deceptive. I'm going to do gibberish because I don't have any content ready. Then who it's from. And this little pop-up warning happens, might not happen to you, but it's because I've got a Gmail email there and it's just a bit more likely to go into spam if it's a Gmail email. So if you have an option to not use Gmail, do that. Okay, now our next button over here again. Now templates. I'm going to go through how to create a template another time. But let's for now just use this one column. It's really easy. Use this select button. It's nice and easy to use. So when you click on select, it'll take you through. Now this is the layout of this page. Here it comes. Over here is the boxes. This is what it's kind of made up of different boxes. And then when you click a box, you edit over here. So again, this top preview box, I would put something enticing, honest, um, intriguing, um, makes people curious, it makes them want to open the email. So that goes up there. Again, I'm going to do gibberish because I don't have content ready. And then you click save and close or you just cl click in a different box and it just saves that for you. Now this format that we're in, the single box, is just the header, an image, some text, social share, the sort of, um, and then the compulsory bits, right, to unsubscribe and different things like that, and the monkey, uh, the MailChimp branding. So this is nice and easy, but you can change it up. So when you save and close, there's all these other options of what you can put in. You can put in a button, a video, um, you can change, you can put more social share icons in, you can put a bunch of images, a divider. So that's very personal and I'll address all of that a bit more in the template video so you can look at your styling. But now let's just look at how to get an image in. You click browse. Now I have a bunch in already because I've been sending emails for a while. So I have a whole lot of things to choose from. If you don't have anything in there, you just click upload and you can either search within your files or you can just drop and drag one over and it will upload it like this. So once you've chosen your image, you want to make sure it's the right dimensions. So say I choose this one, click select and it will pop up it's just taking a minute here it is okay so when we click on this we see it's 1280 by 720 and they're saying it's a bit big it won't go well in inboxes so to resize we just click edit and now I find the best size for images in MailChimp is 550 wide you click this resize button and this is magical. When you type in 550 here it automatically alters the height dimension so you keep you know, the correct properties of your image. So you click apply, click save. Is it going to save? Yes, it's saving. Okay, now that's going to be inserted in the email the right size. Then you can come down and edit your text. 
And there's just one thing I would give you warning about MailChimp and text. It can be a little bit of a pain in the butt. So what I would do is there's not many fonts to choose from, right? There's just these few. But try and choose one and just know this is the one I use all the time. And it will just make it easier when you're cutting and pasting content in later because it can be a real pest. It kind of goes back to this default one that, I mean, who even knows what that is? I guess it's Ariel, but... Um, I don't really know. So I'm going to go in for Lucida because I like a bit of a sans font. So highlight it and change it to the font you like. And then again here, change it up to the font that you like. Pop your content in. You can change the size. You can change um, whether it's a heading or not. You can do all kinds of things. There's a couple of links in here. So to put a link in, let's put it in here. You just highlight it and then you click this link icon. And you can link it to a web address. You can also link it to a file. And this is how you can attach a PDF if you want to share a PDF or a audio file like a meditation or something like that. Um, yeah, so that is how. Oh, I don't know what's happened there. Okay, so we could make that whole paragraph a link to a web address, but I won't do that right now. That's how you could do it. And I would also always check your social share because the social shares default just take you to the website of that company. So you just want to add in your own. Um, actually, mine's like this. I think. And then this one, backslash, put in your own. And then if you have other ones you want to share, you can just change it up. So website, media.com. Okay, so we can add another service and that I wouldn't bother with email, but I would put like your Instagram, your YouTube. So again, you need to customize that so that it's actually to your channel. And you can add another service. And that might be Instagram this time. Where are you? There you are. And just remember always check that it's actually yours. Otherwise, it just go to the Instagram homepage, which is okay, but it's not that exciting for your fans. And you can also, if you're not happy with the way they look, you can click style and you can change the, maybe it's not style, maybe it's settings. You can change the way they look. So you can have um icon style you can have solid or outlined and then you can have color black and white you can have gray um, you can do whatever you like you can change it up and then in the solid there's these options color black and white white and black so you can choose that's on the settings tab and yep all of that and actually each of these has a settings tab and a style tab with it there's heaps more options you can change the text color so that it's all branded um, and you can change the text align and in settings you can change the number of columns you can change all kinds of things so once you've got the content in the image you can play around with that it can take quite a while or you can try to be concise um, then you click next but before you click next what i like to do is actually preview and test it so enter preview mode and this is what it will actually look like when the person gets it in their inbox um, and you can test it for mobile to make sure it's displaying nicely and then inbox this is how someone would get it oh doesn't look like i can do that never mind that's pretty good anyway and to get out of that preview mode you just click here and the other things you can do is send a test email, which I really recommend. I always send myself a te test email because it doesn't seem to matter how many times I reread my email. There's still some funny little mistake. Um, this is also gold, the link checker. If you have put links in, um, you can test them all. So this link. Oh, cool. So this is what you see. If you were to click this, it would. this is the URL and this is what you'll see. And here's another one that you can check. And sometimes they won't display very nicely, but um, you can always click on this and it will open it in a new window and then you'll be able to see where the link is taking you so that you, oh, look, there's a spiffy little MailChimp design assistant and check you know check your social shares that's going to take you to facebook but that won't preview properly 
So you can check all your links. I recommend doing that because there's been plenty of times that I haven't checked my links and then my gorgeous peeps email me back saying, hey, the link to this is not good. So once you've checked everything, you click next. Looks like there's a problem. Oh, because I've got default text. So because there was a bunch of text that I didn't edit, um, it's not going to let me send. Maybe I shall go back and resolve. So probably just take me back to where the problem is. Yes, the good little MailChimp. All right, so it's in here because I didn't edit this text and they're saying, hey, you don't want to, because you don't want to send them that stuff. Oh, and I'll show you how to put in someone's name. So you can click hi and then the merge tags. You can choose first name. It looks like this and it will put the recipient's name in. So that's quite a nice thing you can do to personalize it. Okay, it would let me send that even though it is shonky as. Click next. Everything's good. We've checked our links. We've sent ourselves a preview. Social cards, don't worry about that for today. Then you would click send, but it comes up with one more warning, which is very nice. Or you can click here, schedule. Say you always want your emails to go out on Saturday. You can schedule it up. And just when you schedule it, I would warn you to make sure you have set your time zone because one time I sent one off and I hadn't set my time zone yet. So you just do that by clicking edit and you can choose your time zone. Da, 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 da. Isn't that beautiful and then you have to go back to campaigns back into campaign and we can click straight over to where we were oh yeah it's taken us back so we could schedule or we can send and now this is the last minute are you sure once you click this button there's basically no going back I'm not clicking that button today because you saw that funny old sausage that I just made there so there you go it was pretty quick I'm trying to be good with time I hope that helps and yeah, remember pause, rewind and pause. And I'll do another one about templates for you. Mwah. I hope that was helpful. If you like this video, you can like it, you can comment, you can subscribe if you want more videos from me. Hope you have a gorgeous day. I'll see ya.